So the next topic of the session is trisectional points of a line. What do you mean by trisection? Tri means three. Section is part of. So a line which is divided equal into three parts. So trisectional points are the points which divide the line into three equal parts or three equal sections. So trisectional points, let's take the definition of trisectional points. The points which divide the line into three equal parts or sections are called the trisectional points. So trisectional points are the points which divide the given line into three equal parts or sections. Say for example, I take a line AB, then what are the trisectional points of the line AB? So where do the points lie in between is the biggest question when we define the trisectional points. So where do I exactly identify the trisectional points between A and B on this line AB? So as we see with the definition, the points which divide the given line AB into three equal parts, we clearly understand that if I take two points P and Q on AB such that I have all three equal, then I say P and Q are trisectional points. So in this case, P and Q are trisectional null points is how we understand the points of trisection or trisectional points. In this case, say for example, I take A as x1, y1 and B as x2, y2, then clearly I want to know in what ratio P divides AB and in what ratio Q divides AB. So to start with P, P clearly I identify that AP is equal to PQ equal to QB. Therefore, PB will be twice of AP because all the three distances are equal. I see that P divides AB in the ratio 1 is to 2 because this is one section and this is two sections because section 1, section 2 and section 3. So one section, one plus one, which is two sections. So P divides in the ratio one is to two. So here I get section one and this to be section two. Similarly, Q divides AB in the ratio of two sections with one section. Therefore, two sections with one section makes me understand that P divides AB in the ratio one is to two and Q divides AB in the ratio two is to one is how we understand. Therefore, P divides AB in the ratio 1 is to 2 and the point Q divides AB in the ratio 2 is to 1 is how we get the ratios connected with the points. So let's see how we can find the coordinates of P and Q in with the information of coordinates of A and B and the ratio. So the task is about identifying the coordinates P and Q, the points of trisection. So let's find the trisectional points of a line. Let's derive the formulae for the trisectional points. So for example here, let me take an example problem and straight away find the points of trisection because the necessary of a derived formula is not that high out here. Say so for example, I want to find the points, the points of trisection for, say I have the line joining the points A and B. I wanted to find the points of trisection of this line where the coordinates of A are 2 minus 2 and the coordinates of B are minus 7 and 4. 
so it has two points of trisection one given by p and the other given by q which divide equally into three sections this equals this equals this so as we have already discussed that p divides a b in the ratio 1 is to 2 because one section with two sections and q divides a b in the ratio two sections with one section as 2 is to 1 so let's take p with the ratio let's find the coordinates of p where this is x1 and this is y1 and this is x2 and this is y2 through which i'm going to find so initially with p divides in the ratio 1 is to 2 implies the coordinates of p with this given as m and this given as n is given by the formula mx2 plus nx1 which is 2 times of 2 by m plus n and my2 plus ny1 by m plus n which gives me the formula so let's see what i get so this on simplification gives minus 7 plus 4 over 3 as the x coordinate and 4 minus 4 over 3 as the y coordinate so that this reduces to minus 7 plus 4 which is minus 3 over 3 comma 0 over 3 this gets cancelled with 1 and finally i get this to be that implies my coordinate p is minus 1 comma 0 is one of the point of trisection similarly to find q how do i find the coordinates of q in the similar manner i take the coordinates of q now similarly i would like to find the other point of trisection which is q therefore as i see with the diagram q divides a b in the ratio 2 is to 1 that implies when i use the formula for the point of trisection with this being m and this being n then this reduces to mx2 plus nx1 which is m times of minus 7 plus n times of 2 by 2 plus 1. Similarly, my2 which is 2 into 4 plus ny1 1 times this by m plus 1 is what we get in simplification. Therefore, this reduces to 2 times of minus 7 is minus 14 plus 2 over 3 is what I get for the x coordinate and 2 fourths 8 minus 2 over 3 is what I get for the y coordinate which on further simplification gives minus 12 over 3 and 6 over 3 which gives 2 and 4. Therefore, this is minus 4, 2. Therefore, I obtain the two points of intersection. Therefore, my P equal to minus 1, 0 and Q equals minus 4, 2 are the required points of trisection of the line segment AB which is given out here. Therefore, in order to find the points of intersection, we use the concept of P dividing AB in the ratio 1 is to 2 and Q dividing AB in the ratio 2 is to 1 through which I get through the section formula, I get the coordinates of P and Q. Therefore, for any line segment AB with its coordinates given, I can exactly find those two points which divide the whole line equally into three parts the points of trisection which we call can be formed as with an example problem.